What's up guys, Chuck Palmer here. In this video, I will be doing valve adjustment on this 2007 Honda Civic. The process will be similar for any 8th generation Honda Civic and other motor vehicles as well. The process involves removing the call panel, removing the gasket cover and make the adjustments for each valve. It is recommended to replace the valve cover gasket for a job like this. You can see right here that I have removed the air intake box, but you do not have to do that. I did so to clean the throttle body. Now I will remove the call panel. Remove this rubber strip right here. Now I will use a clip removal tool to remove some clips holding this in place. Some of these clips will not be reusable, so it is good to have a clip set like this and I will put a link for a set like this in the description below. All the clips are out, now I can pop this out of place. It is held in place by some clips. Here is the fury line for the windscreen washer. I will need to disconnect this line. Just pull to disconnect. Now there are some 12 and 10 mm bolts holding this in place. There are 4 12 mm bolts at the ends right here. There are 5 10 mm bolts to be removed. Two here, two here and one in the middle here. Now this call panel can be removed. Now I will remove this cover right here. Use a flat screwdriver to turn these clips onto clockwise. Now I can remove this cover. Now I will disconnect each ignition coil connector. Before I go any further, I will disconnect the negative terminal from the battery. Now I need to remove this wire harness here that holds the wire for the ignition coil as well as the alternator. I will remove these two 10mm bolts holding this wire harness in place. Now I will remove these connectors from the alternator. There is a 10mm bolt here that I need to remove. Now I will remove this connector. Having these special pliers come in handy. And if you want these, I will put a link for these in the description below. Now I can remove this 10mm bolt. Now I can remove this wire harness out of the way. I will also remove the wire harness for the fuel injector. There are two bolts holding it right here. I'll remove them. Now I will unplug this connector. Now I can start removing the 8 10mm bolts holding this valve cover in place. There are 4 on this side and 4 on the other side. I need to remove this plastic cover right here. It is held in place by some rubber rivets. I just need to pop it out of place. Now I can remove this valve cover. Inside this valve cover is not looking bad for a 2007 Honda Civic in 2024. I will be replacing this valve cover gasket because it is leaking at the moment. Now it's time to perform the valve adjustment. I need to remove the front wheel on the driver side to get access to the camshaft bolt. I will need to turn that bolt to make the valve adjustment. The camshaft bolt can be accessed right here. I will remove the spark plugs so that the camshaft is easier to turn. There will be no compression when the spark plugs are removed.
The valve clearance adjustment setting can be found on a sticker on your hood right here. This is showing that the intake gap should be 0.20 mm plus or minus 0.2 mm. For the exhaust, it should be 0.25 mm plus or minus 0.02 mm. So look at your gauge and each gauge has a number. This is the 0.25 mm and the gap should be smooth like this. When you try the next size up, it should be very tight. The next size down should be very loose and the correct size should feel very smooth. Not too tight, not too loose. There are two valves to adjust for each cylinder. I will use this feel gauge to make the adjustment. Find your feel gauge and in this case it's the 0.25 mm. Turn the camshaft until this line right here is leveled with the valve cylinder head right here. On this camshaft bracket, you will find the cylinder numbers. Cylinder 1 will have an arrow. Cylinder 2, 3 and 4 will have a number, labeled 2, 3 and 4. Remember we will be doing adjustments for both the exhaust and the intake. The exhaust should be adjusted to 0.25 mm plus or minus 0.2 mm, while the intake should be adjusted to 0.2 mm plus or minus 0.2 mm. This is cylinder 1, cylinder 2, cylinder 3 and cylinder 4. I will take my time to make the adjustment and use this gauge to make each adjustment. I will take my time and do this for each cylinder. Remember, each cylinder has two valves. In this case, I need to make it a little looser. Now I will go in again with the feeler gauge to test how smooth this is. This is very smooth right now. Now I will go with the size up. That feels very tight and if I go with the size down, it is very loose as you can see right here. I will do the same for all valves but I won't show the process because it is the same. I will take my time and do this for each cylinder. Remember, each cylinder has two valves. Once you learn how to correct one valve, it's easier for the others. When you have made the correct adjustments, Ensure that each bolt is tightened. Use the screwdriver and the 10mm wrench to tighten the nut while ensuring that the pin is not moving. I advise doing all the exhaust first, then do the intake. But you can do the intake and the exhaust at the same time. Just remember that the intake adjustment should be 0.20 plus or minus 0.02. Right now we are on cylinder 3. So now we can make the adjustment for cylinder 3 intake as well as cylinder 3 exhaust. You can see that that line is now leveled. Now I can make the valve adjustment for cylinder 3. Now I have made all the adjustment. Now I will go through and ensure that each nut is tight. Not too tight though. Hold each pin with the flat screwdriver to ensure that it doesn't turn and tighten each nut. It should be torqued to about 12 foot pounds, but there's no way to do it while holding the pin, so I will use my experience to judge. It is important to make the right adjustment, because if the valve are too tight, that can damage your engine. It's better for them to be too loose, but being too loose will also damage your engine, but over a longer period. So it's better for them to be too loose than too tight. Now I have completed the valve adjustment, now it's time to reinstall the valve cover. I will now clean up excess gasket maker right here and use this shop rack to clean up excess oil. I need to apply some gasket maker at this point right here and this point right here. It's only needed at these two points because this is where the timing cover meets the engine. 
Now I will install the new valve cover gasket after I clean up excess oil of course. I just need to run it along this line right here. Now I can install the valve cover gasket with the 8mm bolts. Now I will ensure that the fuel injector connectors are connected properly and reinstall the spark plugs. Now I will connect the ignition coil connectors and secure the wire harness. Now I will connect the wire harness to the alternator and reinstall this wire here with the 10mm nut. I will now reinstall the call panel. I need to install 4 10mm bolts and the 5 10mm bolts. You can see right here that I have removed the air intake box but you do not have to do that. I did so to clean the throttle body. I will now reconnect the battery terminal and this job is pretty much done. That's it for this video guys, but before you go, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one guys.